Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Fixer Upper, the show where I usually attempt to fix up your houses, but today we fix up an EA house that is in desperate need of our help. Today, we're taking on the Caliente house. In case you didn't know, I usually do your houses. If you put on the hashtag FixMeLilSimsy on the gallery, I run for your houses. I've done hundreds of them in the past. There's a playlist and everything. But if you want me to fix up your house, build me a fixer upper. Hashtag FixMeLilSimsy on the gallery and I'll do it. But I, I picked Caliente house this week because I came into game and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, we have to fix this now. There's no time to waste. <laughs> we're gonna do a quick tour of the house because I just want to show you some things. There's a cool entryway with like a nice tile outdoor. I love the style of the house. It's just not, um, it's not done well. The style, great. Execution, not. <laughs> but there's this cool hallway. Honestly, kind of like the orange walls. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's kind of fun. Um, there's also a hole in the ceiling, but that's fine. That's just an EA mess. They do that a lot. They don't know how to build, but... It's okay. <laughs> they have a piano room over here. They've got a beautiful living room with cool built-ins over here. I don't know why they have teapots and, and china cabinets around their TV, but that's okay too. They've got a nice yellow dining room with a giraffe <laughs> for some reason. They've got this beautiful kitchen with terrible tile choices. They've got this empty room. They've got this cool like half outside area. They've got this bathroom over here. It's one of those things where like the colors are weird. It's kind of a weird floor plan. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I failed to show you guys Don Lothario's room. Where is Don's room? You have to go outside, right? Yeah, this is Don Lothario's room. Tiny room for a tiny man. Okay, <laughs> then you come back inside and then you go up the stairs into a beautiful hallway. Cute stuff. Oh, there's the tiny man. Hey, Don, what's up? Over here is one of the bedrooms. The master, I believe, this is Katrina's room. She's got a whole balcony and everything. Also an ensuite bathroom. Oh, wait. Oh, it's an ensuite and a hall bath. Oh, cool. Okay, that's not fun. And there's windows into it. <laughs> You're standing. This is sim height, like right here. You will see someone get out of the shower. If you stand too close, you can watch them in the toilet and you'll you'll see them get out of the shower. Like, you'll, you're gonna see someone naked, which is not what anyone wants, that's a sin. Um, in here is one of the rooms. I'm guessing it's it's Dina's because of the yellow. And then this one's, ne nope, that's a bathroom. Okay, this one's Nina's room. <laughs> and that's the whole house. Uh, so it's pretty small. I actually made it so that Dawn's room is upstairs and that they have an office downstairs, but it's a cool house. There's a lot of potential here. It just makes me sad because these Sims are so cool and their house is so, so bleh. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in to the renovation. Okay, so we are back and we are fixer uppering this house. My friends, this one needs it <laughs> pretty desperately. Today we're taking on the Caliente's house in The Sims 4. And you know the Caliente's, you know them. You probably don't love them, but you know them. And I feel like the Caliente's are one of the most iconic Sims families in the game, right? Like in The Sims 4, but also in past Sims games as well. They're one of those that have been around in many Sims games. Like Don Lothario is the Sim. You know, I feel like Bella Goth and Don Lothario are up there as far as like the most iconic Sims in the franchise. And Don Lothario lives here and he just, this isn't, this isn't the house for the Calientes. I think it needs a little bit more flash, <laughs> a little bit more excitement. I don't know. I, it's just a kind of generic looking house. It's not, it's not the worst one in the game by any means. The Sims team has definitely built way worse things in the past. No offense, but it's true. They have. And I feel like I did a good job of fixing it. It was fun to renovate and like kind of refurnish their rooms because in my mind when I was doing their, their bedrooms and stuff, I was thinking like, okay, Katrina has very obviously played a big role in the furnishing of this house. And so I try to put like a little personality in their rooms, but also largely keep like what Katrina would have wanted for her vibe in the whole house, you know? So like Dina's room is very nicely furnished, but I like snuck a couple posters on the wall because I put some like motivational fitness posters on the wall in Dana's room. <laughs> Aside from like the rest of her like very nicely organized, beautiful bedroom that Katrina has probably hired someone to interior design. You know, I really enjoyed doing that. It's the little things, the little touches in the house. You know how it goes, right? But yeah, that's the whole place. I I actually cut out most of the landscaping from this build because it was kind of long and also repetitive and sort of boring. So I was like, you know what? We'll just we'll just keep this out of here. I oftentimes will cut out like floor plan stuff, uh, bathrooms, like kind of the like boring parts of a build because sometimes it's just a long video. Like, listen, the point of a speed build is that it's speedy. <laughs> when it gets to be like 40, 50 minutes long sped up, it's too long. You know, like I, <laughs> we spend hours building these things in real time. You don't need to spend an hour watching it back in the speed build. Also, listen, I'm, I'm okay at talking about nothing in a voiceover for a fair amount of time. I can't talk about nothing in a voiceover for an hour. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's too much. It's too much, okay? I can wing it for like 20 minutes. I can't wing it for an hour. There's no way. I mean, I have before. I used to do a podcast on my second channel. Um, I had a podcast that I posted like, it was even on iTunes and stuff. I was great. Except here's the thing about the podcast, right? Which I actually kind of stopped posting like a year ago and haven't posted since. And I get a lot of comments about it. So listen, Lil Simzy is finally addressing the podcast issue. I, um, I don't have time to do a podcast. Like, I, people ask about it a lot, and I wish that I could bring it back. I really do, because it was fun to do. But I also make daily videos on YouTube, and I stream for, like, three and a half hours, three hours every single day, and I'm a full-time student. Like, I'm making so many hours of content every day as it is. Like, a podcast on top of that was just impossible, especially because, like... I wanted to have guests, but I didn't have enough friends to invite, and like, <laughs> I'm making so many speed bills that are basically podcasts already, so I just, I couldn't keep it up anymore, um, especially living on campus, because I'm going to be honest, you guys, like back, I used to record the podcast from my dorm room, and I had roommates that could hear every word I said, and like recording an hour-long podcast talking to yourself with roommates listening to you is actually like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> like, that was really stressful and kind of spooky, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I did that. When you go back and watch my videos that I recorded from my dorm room and like I just sound so much different and so much quieter and so much more shy and so much more scared and stuff because I was more shy and more scared. It's really weird because obviously like I record videos that thousands of people are going to listen to but when one person hears you recording it in real life it's all of a sudden very spooky and like the worst thing ever. It was pretty spooky. I'm not going to lie. I was terrified <laughs> to be recording in that dorm room uh, but it ended. It's fine. I moved out. It's been like a year, still not over it, it's fine. I also, I keep having dreams about living with roommates again. Because I live alone now. I've lived alone since December. Uh, and I keep having dreams the last three nights. I had a dream that I moved back to my parents' house. And then I had a dream that my old roommate moved back in. I can't move, but moved back in. <laughs> and then last night I had a dream that I went to some college, like some new university. I like switched universities, moved on campus, and I shared this tiny bedroom with two other people. We all had single beds in this tiny room and there was no desks, no other furniture because like, the only furniture that fit in the room was the beds because it was so small and I had these two roommates that I shared it with and that was not a fun dream to have. I realized that some people have like three people to a bedroom situations in dorms sometimes and dear lord can you imagine like I America's wild like <laughs> the way the way that we do university and like dorm living and stuff where it's like the standard to share a bedroom in university is very uncommon in other countries <laughs> like if you talk to anyone from like England I have a lot of British friends so like I know but they don't share bedrooms at university they have very tiny single rooms but like they don't share bedrooms also this no kitchen business in dorms very stupid and weird like why why do we send people to live in a dorm with no kitchen <laughs> and share a bedroom like what a miserable experience I mean it's a great one I think it's a it's a big learning experience to like share a space with someone and stuff it just doesn't make it any less miserable <laughs> like it sucks a lot I think we can all agree on that but it, it was a good experience to live in a dorm I, I definitely am glad that I did that and like living on campus is kind of fun um to have that experience it's just really expensive <laughs> And not great <laughs> like I remember so my dorm when I was in college um, I'm still in college I don't live on campus anymore though I don't know I said when I was in college like when I was in college back in my day is I'm not in my second year of college right now anyway <laughs> when I lived in the dorm I had there was five of us that shared this sweet thing right so there was like a, a tiny common room that was like basically a hallway that could fit a futon in it we had like a futon and a TV in there it was very small and then there were three bedrooms I had a single room um, thank God, because if I didn't, I would make YouTube videos. <laughs> there's no way. Like, if I didn't get a single room, I would not have made YouTube videos. Like, I, d there's no way that I could have recorded or streamed in a shared bedroom in university. That just wasn't going to happen. So count yourselves lucky that I'm still here. I made it out alive. But my other roommates, there was, like, two girls to one room, to the, ne the next room, and then I had a very small single bedroom uh, in the, the room. And so there was five of us. We had one bathroom, and my bedroom was, like, across the, the hallway, from the bathroom and I remember every time I wanted to go to the bathroom to like take a shower at night I'd like get off stream and want to go to the bathroom and shower my roommates might have like friends over <laughs> watching tv in the common room and it's so small that everyone's like sitting on the floor kind of crowded in circles and stuff and then you have to like step around over in between them to get to the bathroom and it was horrible like I didn't I never like if there are people over I did not want to leave my room because I just you have to walk like one in front of the tv because they're then they're watching it and you have to kind of like weave your way through them because they're all like in a circle on the floor in this tiny room 
and then you have to like beeline across the way. Bad. It was bad. I didn't like it. <laughs> I was scared to go to the bathroom in the place that I lived. Like that's not a fun situation, but I still am glad that I did it. I'm, I made friends with my roommates and stuff. It's just, even being friends with them, I was still scared to like walk past them and go to the bathroom. So like, there's that. It's a weird experience living there. I also, I used to keep my door closed most of the time because our doors, they, they closed and locked shut. Whenever they were closed, they were locked. And you had to put your like student ID, sort of like a hotel room key into them to unlock them. And so the front door of our building, you to get into like our suite unit thing, you put your room key, your room key, <laughs> you put your student ID in there and then put in a pin number to the outside. And we all had different pin numbers. And then you put your key again into your bedroom to get in there. So it was like very secure, you know, like your stuff isn't gonna get stolen. But for one, if you got locked out, uh, you had to pay money <laughs> to the RA to unlock it, um, which was kind of wild, but I never got locked out, so it was fine. Uh, thank God, because that wouldn't be fun. I used to keep my door closed most of the time when I was in there because like, I, I mean, I was like recording or studying or, or whatever, so I keep my door all the way shut. But sometimes I'll leave it cracked or uh, by accident leave it open. <laughs> and this is where it becomes a problem, right? Because once uh, I got home from class, right? I had gone to the bathroom or something, came back, didn't close my door all the way. So it was like basically wide open, right? And I was sitting at my desk and my desk was like across from the doorway. So if you walk past the door, you would see me sitting at my desk, but I wasn't facing the door. I was facing the wall. And my roommate got home. I didn't know the door was open, but I was having a meltdown, like a hysterical meltdown in my bedroom because, um, yeah, I don't even, I don't remember why. We, it just happens sometimes. Okay. We freak out. Honestly, meltdown probably, um, too, too light of a word. <laughs> We're talking like more panic attack lines, but it's fine. We've, we've all been there. Um, anyway, meltdown, right? It was bad, like really bad. I didn't know my door was open because I was sitting at my desk facing the wall. I hear my roommate come in and like the front door kind of slams because the, the, it goes to the outside. In Florida, this happens a lot. I realize it's weird in other places. We have like outdoor hallways. And so it was like a big, heavy hurricane door to the outside, right? So when it, when it opens and closes, it slams. Like you can't stop it from slamming because it just, it, it's very heavy and it closes very hard no matter what. So like when you come in, the door is going to slam. And so she came in, I heard her coming because the door slammed. Uh, and then she went into her room. And that door kind of closed loudly too. And I was like, oh yikes, someone's home, gotta quiet down, <laughs> like calm down a little bit. A few minutes later, I've kind of like toned down the sobbing. I turn around and realize my bedroom door had been open the entire time. So my roommate, I don't know which one it was, but like she had come in, definitely heard me sobbing, most likely saw me sobbing and like I was so embarrassed I am so, people I told a story on stream once and people are like why didn't she come in and like see if you were okay and they're like why'd she slam the door you can't help but slam that door it doesn't not slam and also thank god she didn't come in because if she had come into my room that would have been really bad like for both of us I think because I was not in a good that was not a good time <laughs> like she I don't she couldn't have done anything to help me either like I I don't know what to do in that situation because sometimes you see your friends crying and it's like do I need to say something or like, is it best to leave them alone? It's, that's a weird one because sometimes they just want to be left alone. Like most of the time I want to be left alone, but like you see them crying and you want to be like, Hey, like, are you all right? But also they're like hysterically like hyperventilating and it's like, should I say something to them right now? Like, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm glad she didn't say something because I, I would have been really embarrassed. Like that, that would have been really bad. Cause then I would know for a fact she saw. Because now, like, right now, I'm like, she might have heard, she might have saw, but, like, she definitely heard. But it's there, it's still, like, a level of, like, question. There's, like, a maybe there still. But if she had come in, we would know, and nobody needs that. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Really, really bad. <laughs> Do you have any stories like that? Uh, I haven't really walked in on anyone I know having a meltdown, luckily. So that's good. <laughs> really good for me. I'm really glad. Yeah. That's, uh-huh. <laughs> happy for you, Kay for Cap like what? I was gonna say happy for you, Kayla, but the words didn't come out. Anyway, I'm doing the bedrooms in the house now. <laughs> this one is Dina's. The one next to her, the pink one is Nina's. Don's is the smaller blue one. He's the smallest room in the house. And then Katrina has the master bedroom. And I think they're kind of cute. The original house had like a tiny bedroom for Don downstairs. And I was able to add an extra bedroom because I put kind of a, uh, an addition on the house upstairs. So we had some more space for more bedrooms and stuff. So luckily it's a little bit bigger now more exciting and stuff. <laughs> but I think it turned out really cute. I also, I like the color scheme. This house is really pretty, I think. It's very like classic and also kind of generic. It's, it's not very cluttered at all. I don't really build houses that aren't cluttered like this anymore. I do a lot of like 
family homes that are like for younger families with kids that are all cluttered and stuff whereas this is a household full of adults and so their house is like very neat very clean very fancy pristine if you will and it was kind of fun to do that i also sized up curtains and put them on the walls because they look so nice but it's so annoying how far off from the window they are because they go off like this far from the window i bet like in real life like that's so weird to have the curtains hanging like that far they wouldn't touch the wall at all which is like kind of defeats the purpose because curtains are supposed to cover the window so that light doesn't get in right ideally when they're that far off the window like you're gonna have so much light coming in from the sides can you imagine like waking up in the morning i mean you've got blackout curtains right but they're that far off the wall so that when you go in there and you wake up the sun's like shining in from th what's the point of the curtain then there isn't, it's, I mean, there is a point of a curtain still, but still, it's too far off the wall. They need to do some curtain work in The Sims 4. They've got some things to fix. Maybe someday. I don't think today's that day, but maybe someday we'll get better curtains. It's hard to do curtains in The Sims because all the windows are so different. So it's hard to make curtains that like fit most windows. I mean, they could do a better job of standardizing windows. That would be good if they standardized them more, but whatever. It's hard to make curtains that fit things well. But I wish we had more curtains like the Seasons and Cats and Dogs ones that are like big, just like straight panels for wide windows. And also like the curtains that I put in here, like why don't we have that? Like the ones that I size up, why don't we have curtains of that size? They're easy, easy curtains, either way. <laughs> That's my, my issues with The Sims 4. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut off right here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Who is your favorite Caliente? Is it Katrina? Is it Nina? Is it Dina? I think I like Dina the best. She's the yellow haired one. Big fan of her. I don't like Nina. She just looks so mean all the time, right? Like, don't you agree? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs>